group gatherings of over five people are restricted. And that means there's a rule against that, so don't do it. Being alone at home and watching a virtual service does not replace worship. Hi. Hey, so he's arrested. Alright, so Tobias, can you step out of the car? You're under arrest, you have an outstanding warrant for your arrest, okay? And, you know, fines have kept coming all the way up to this year so far. And when I came home, you know, my responsibility is to help with leading mm -hmm. services and and be there, you know, and they obviously don't recognize that as essential. And so there were some tickets that came through that, which the Democracy Fund is helping me fight. When churches were no longer able to gather, thanks to COVID health orders in Manitoba, one pastor stood above the rest in defiance. Now quarantine tickets, Pastor Tobias Tissen fights on. Over a year ago, he defied COVID emergency orders by attending protests against said COVID emergency orders, and more grievously, for practicing his religion. This was seen by the state as defying public gathering limits of no greater than five. Tobias was fined thousands for this alone. Group gatherings of over five people are restricted. And that means there's a rule against that, so don't do it. The Church of God, which Pastor Tobias belongs to, was also fined $5,000 for hosting in-person church service. And after a battle with RCMP over parking lot access, they were later fined for drive-in church services as well. Both forms of worship were considered illegal at that time. Tickets and non-compliance continued until months later when a warrant for six individuals for multiple breaches of so-called public health and safety measures ensued. Over a period of months and after the issuance of multiple tickets and repeated attempts to educate, members of the Public Safety Investigations Unit obtained warrants of arrest for six individuals. They stem from breaches of the public health orders. Pastor Tobias was one of those individuals and we caught up with him while the warrant was active to hear his side of the story. He continued hosting church services despite the warrant and stated that authorities would have to arrest him at the church, where he continued to present himself during church services. While this warrant was active, Pastor Tobias faced what he would call Gestapo tactics, much like his family had fled Europe from in years past. I've had ancestors in Russia that were being persecuted for, for their faith. They would be, the Christian leaders would be picked up at church taken to the police station and said, this is the fine, you're not leaving here until you paid. And then from there it got worse to where they got arrested and in a lot of cases killed. His church also now faced a potential $1 million fine. Pastor Tobias continued on without being arrested until October 18th, when the RCMP arrested him in front of his crying children, as opposed to the church where he had frequently presented himself for arrest. Where we go now? Where we left? He was let free around 45 hours later after signing conditions for his release, and our chief videographer, Mocha, was quickly on scene to hear from the church. We later caught up with Pastor Tobias himself to find out what conditions he had to sign in order to be released, along with his expectations moving forward. While I'm not allowed to incite or organize or invite anybody to a gathering that is in contravention of COVID-19, it goes on to say, to clarify, this does not affect his ability to perform regular religious services and perform his duties as a pastor. Even after resolving the matter of his warrant, authorities continued to harass his family. Pastor Tobias called them out for these tactics and set a meeting with police, at which time he was given over $17,000 in fines for hosting church services in violation of the Quarantine Act. So you didn't quarantine then when you came in? As Pastor Tobias has stated previously, he and the church hold the understanding that these health orders are in violation of our fundamental freedoms here in Canada. Joining us today is Pastor Tobias to talk about this latest wave of tickets that were brought on because of the way he practices his faith and it's so being deemed illegal by the state under the Quarantine Act. Been through a lot, I guess, in the last two years. And of course, many of you have seen previous coverage from Rebel News for all the stuff we've been through as far as fines and arrest. All right, so Tobias, can you step out of the car? You're under arrest. You have an outstanding warrant for your arrest, okay? And, you know, fines have kept coming all the way up to this year so far. As far as them targeting us for um, keeping on gathering as a church, that has stopped, and we're very thankful for that. 
We've been able to gather peacefully since June of last year. And we consider that as a win for, for us at this point, because it's obviously better to be able to gather peacefully instead of having or knowing that you're being surveilled and they're trying to see if there's more charges coming and all that. So we're very thankful for that. Especially considering in the beginning of the pandemic when you weren't even allowed to have church services within your parking lot with the windows up. Being alone at home and watching a virtual service does not replace worship. Right. It's definitely a good break. But you know what? God has used this to strengthen us and has helped us through this all amazingly. And praise be to him for how he has helped us through all this. Many people expect, and there's rumor of another wave that's coming along, or in the fall they might try and reimpose a lot of these restrictions. Are you still concerned moving forward? At this point, nothing will surprise me. You know, they have they have never, in these last two years, they have not lifted the restrictions as far as they have up till now. But, you know, nothing would surprise me because they've done the yo-yo thing with with all of us for so long now. Never they've lifted things as much as now, but they have eased and then they've restricted. And, you know, we don't have any say over that. We don't have control over that. And so I feel like what I'm going to do is with with God's help, I'm going to recharge now and and get strengthened. And I'm sure there's more ahead of us. Right now, the Democracy Fund is lending a helping hand with some of the tickets for the legal end of things. What is the Democracy Fund helping you with right now? So right now, they're helping me with my latest two tickets that I received in December, or was it beginning of January? And that was regards to some traveling I did for religious reasons. I went to a, to a conference in uh, Mexico. And I had a religious exemption. And when I came home, um, you know, my responsibility is to help with leading services and and be there, you know, and they obviously don't recognize that as essential. And so there were some tickets that came through that, which the Democracy Fund is helping me fight. As was mentioned, Pastor Tobias is being helped with his quarantine tickets through the help of the Democracy Fund, who retained lawyer Sarah Miller to help with these tickets. Here's what she had to say about the situation. Uh, those tickets are quite expensive, uh, over $8,000 a piece, and uh, the, the Crown is prosecuting him and we're uh, currently seeking uh, either some sort of early resolution or something that seems reasonable in, in light of the circumstances. So. We've entered a not guilty pleas. We've requested disclosure. Uh, just last week, we received disclosure and we're now uh, in correspondence with the Crown to see what we can do as for next dates. I appreciate you guys sticking to the end. And if you want to help Pastor Tobias and his legal defense, you can go to fightthefines.com. Donations there go directly to his legal defense and they would also qualify you for a charitable tax receipt. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. For Rebel News, I'm Sydney Vizard. We don't take big bailouts from the government like most mainstream media outlets. Instead, all of our support, what keeps us alive is you guys. Your donations to Rebel News uh, are what make us a reality. And if you want to help us out even further, you can go to rebelnewsstore.com to pick up some awesome merchandise and represent the brand.